Hello there, geocachers, treasure hunters, and thrill seekers. I'm out today not geocaching. I'm out hiding one. That's right, I've made my own. This is the first one I've ever made. What it's actually, what this actually is, is a paint pot. And I've covered it in some camo tape, some gorilla camo tape. And inside it, there's a little plastic bag. And inside that, I've made a little paper log. Let's see if I can show you that. There we go. There is a specific first to find slot on it too. But today I'm actually going to hide it. I don't actually know how the procedure for this works. So I think what I'm going to do, I've got it open up on my website, uh, on my computer at home, but I'm going to hide it today and then have a look and see what I have to do next on the computer when I get home. But I'm going to show you where I'm going to hide it. So I'm at the balloon tree at this moment in time. Now you might have seen this from some of the camps that I've done. There we go, there's the car. And I had this idea for hiding this here a little while ago, because there's a really good little spot. Now bear with me, we're nearly there. Now as you go around here, Look at those stones there. And what I really liked was the idea of this just being tucked into there. What do you think? I think that's quite a good one. So it's a drive-by really, so that they can pull into the car park here. They might even be able to see it from the roadside from in the car park because those stones are just there. But yeah, they can park in here, do the cash, and then maybe patronise the establishment. And considering Matthew's my friend, I thought it'd be a useful way of helping him promote his business a little bit. And also, it gives me somewhere else to keep, keeps me, keeps me in camping locations. All right. Now back home and I'll show you what the next step is in terms of logging this on the geocaching site. Right, I'm back at the back cave. Let's talk through what you have to do to set a geocache up. So the first screen that you come to asks you to select what the geocache type is. So this is just a traditional geocache. It's not a multi-cache, mystery, earth or anything like that. So first of all, you select traditional geocache. I've selected traditional geocache. Then on the next screen, it asks you to confirm where the geocache coordinates are. This one stumped me a little bit. I have actually found a simpler way of doing this using Google Maps, but at the time, I googled GPS coordinates and it came up with um, a website called gpscoordinates.net and I found it on there. I've drawn a little arrow on this image here so that you can see exactly where I pinpointed the location and those were the coordinates that I've used for this. Once you've entered the geocache coordinates it'll then ask you to enter waypoints like parking, trailheads or reference points for walkers and viewers that kind of thing. I've added parking on this one which was uh, the balloon tree farm shop and cafe. Then on the next screen, it asks you to enter the geocache details. So I called it the balloon tree, date placed, that was when I hid it. And then you put in a, a description at the bottom of the screen there to describe what type of uh, geocache and a bit about the location. On the next screen, it asks you to type the size and the rating, which is like the difficulty and the terrain. I used other for this because I wasn't quite sure what to do. I would have used micro actually in future for the size that I've used, but uh, yeah, I used other in this case. And I put the difficulty down as one and a half purely because that grass verge where the where the stones are, it's not it's not particularly wheelchair friendly. Once you've done that, your cache is pretty much good to go, and you then have to submit it for review. Type in a few reviewer notes just to tell the uh, reviewer what the geocache is like and where it can be found. You're then uh, onto the next screen, which tells you that your cache has been submitted for review. And that's it. Then it's just a waiting game, waiting for the reviewer to come back to you and let you know whether your cache has been approved. Mine wasn't. Okay, I made a bit of a gaffe with this because you're not allowed to use anything that could appear to be for commercial reasons. And so because I'd refer to the balloon tree by name and by description quite a lot, the cache was completely kicked back. So I had to completely rethink it. 
So I ended up changing the name completely to my first hide and milestone achievement. And then completely changed the deer cast description so there was no mention of the balloon tree, only reference to the farm shop itself. And on submission, that one went through without any particular issue. And it was published on the 17th of March, 2022. Okay, so since then, has it been found? Well, it has. The first to find was by RP Cash 543. That was found on the 17th of March. So yeah, pretty good. I was quite chuffed with that. It's actually quite thrilling waiting for people to actually find your cash, and it's a real delight when people actually find it. And then since then, uh, as I record this, it is the 30th of June, 2022, and it's been found a total of 24 times. So yeah, that's it. That's how I hid my first cache. So going forward with my geocaching journey, I will show you some of the other caches that I've hidden. There are other videos to come where oldest friend and I, I took him looking for a couple of mine uh, that are hidden near a campsite that we like to go to. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff like that coming. So if you like what I'm doing and you like the video, you know what to do, all the routines. Thumbs up, thumbs down, it's up to you. Hit the subscribe, smash the bell, all that kind of stuff. And then, You'll get to see all the uh, all the other future geocaching videos. You take care of yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Cheerio.